Hello boys and girls, I am DeGroot and welcome to another opening. Uh, today we'll be doing some more baseball. Uh, we will be opening and reviewing the new Topps Update Series baseball, which will probably be pretty much similar and or identical to the previous Series 1 and Series 2, but uh, we got two boxes uh, at Walmart today. That's my stomping grounds for whenever I buy these items. Uh, and each one of these boxes features one of these collectible 70th anniversary patch cards, which I don't know why they call it a patch card because it's more of like a medallion. Anyways, we got two boxes uh, with seven packs in each, plus that. So that's 14 total packs. So let's not waste any time. Let's get to ripping and see what these bad boys look like and see if we pull any good rookie cards. Or maybe we'll get lucky and get a memorabilia card or two let's see and if you notice I got a haircut <laughs> it is nice uh, not looking like a homeless person uh, <laughs> let's see let's do the field test here we're gonna find the one with that oh, there it is we'll save those for last that way we got something to look forward to for sure okay it's the second pack in each box is the big old commander can you hear any click? No, no click. So it is one solid piece. So anyway, here we go. Let's get it started. No fooling around. We're just going, man. That's what we're doing today. Because if you've opened any tops, you've probably already seen these cards. Yeah, I'm getting a, getting a heavy uh, repetitive vibe. But you never know. We might pull something really cool on stream. And there's that word again. There's that word again. This is not live, therefore it is not a stream. Come on, brain, get it together. All right. Let's see. What we got here? We got Azdrubal Cabrera. Jordan Holloway. Rosalia Iglesias. And, of course, we're always looking for Cardinals, because I'm a Cardinal fan. As well as any other local teams would be good. Stuff that can be sold at shows and whatnot. Oh, I'm off off camera. Victor Gonzalez. All right, we got a. Oop, I skipped a card, which I guess isn't that big a deal. Oh, it's a numbered card. Oh, it's a gold one. That's cool. Oh, Shohei Otani. Ex mates meet again. Pals face off. Number to 2021. So it's your typical gold card. And Shohei Otani and Kohei Irahara. If I pronounce that right. So we got our first gold card. That's sweet. And then, of course, our insert is a uh, Blake Snell throwback. Was that 80? I forget what year that is. Buster Posey, all star game. Got a Jared Kalinick. Oh, that's got like a classic feel to it. That's a good looking uh, throwback. Oh, boy, I just, I'm not remembering my years of what this set is. 92. Okay, that's yeah, the 92 top set. So that's a good looking throwback style and we got some upside down cards uh, Zimmerman Rojas and Josh Reddick what is going on in this card I can't tell if he's angry or if he's fist pumping the air because he's excited about something uh, let's see now here's a trick if you're uh, not familiar with uh, with how you can tell a short print. Uh, just look on the back of the card. It's a little friendly. Thing. And right here there's a serial number. Now, most cards will have the same serial number. Like this ends in 9-5. A short print will end in a different number. So that's the easiest way to figure that out if you're not sure if, a, if it's an alternate image. A lot of times it's kind of obvious. I know in the past, uh, oops, that's that's not the one I wanted to open. That's the one with the thing in it. Uh, in the past, the short print image variants always been uh, backwards in the pack. So it's always been one of those things. All right. Ooh, looks like we got something cool inside this pack. All right. So we got some, hey, Jazz Chisholm, rookie card, rookie debut, 9-1-2020. I don't know if that's... I don't know, is that his true Topps rookie card? It could be. Those are always the most valuable, their first real Topps card. And here we got an Evan White debut card. Logan Allen, Matt Beattie of the Dodgers. 
Uh, Trevor Rosenthal, my boy. Love Trevor Rosenthal. I was glad to see he had a nice little resurgence before. I don't know if he got hurt or what happened, but he just kind of disappeared again. Ian Anderson, rookie card. He had a nice run. And, ooh, 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 look at that card. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, is this a short print? Oh, it is. Look at that card. Now, that's awesome for me because I'm a Cardinal fan. That's a Justin Williams ice. I guess what they call that an ice refractor or a... Uh, uh, let me see if I can find the terminology on the pack. Uh, let's see. Green foil card. I guess it's a foil card. Yeah, I'm not seeing the terminology, but I guess some call that an ice, like an like a ho ice hollow, you know, like. But that is really sweet, and that card is numbered to 499, number 45. Now, that's a heck of a pull for me, because like I said, I'm a Cardinal fan. Like Justin Williams. I mean, he's probably not going to be a star. But that is a really cool card. I'm going to set that right there. Because that's fun to look at. And my insert is the man Mike Trout. My favorite non-cardinal player. Uh, you know. I mean unless you count Pujols as a non-cardinal. He used to be a cardinal. Anyways. But there's Mike Trout. That's a heck of an insert. I like that one. That's a really good looking one. Was that 70? Yeah, that's a cool one. 70 years. Love that card. Love that card. That is a great card of him. I'm a big fan of Mike Trout, so I like that one a lot. All right, and then we got another 92 throwback of Luis Garcia with the Diamondbacks. Uh, and then we'll finish that out with Taylor Trammell and Jose Trevino. But so far, that's a really cool card. I mean, it's not super valuable or anything. I just really like it. And I'm a homer. <laughs> you give me a cardinal card, I'm happy. You know, it's like I always tell people, like for birthday and Christmas and stuff, you know, if it's got a cardinal logo on it, you're probably doing all right. It's like, don't don't overthink gifts when it comes to me. I'm pretty simple. All right, Taylor Trammell. We got a rookie debut of Sam Huff, rookie debut of Luis Garcia. Martin Maldonado, he's a pretty good ball player. Yep. I guess we're getting the, the whole battery system for the Astros in this pack. Garrett Stubbs. You got Tyler Alexander. So yeah, so what we're seeing is, oh, okay, another another Topps throwback to a different year. Another 90 set. We got a rookie of Christian Pache. Um, so as far as the base set goes, this is just the same design as Topps. Ah, looks like uh, Windows Defender Summary is available for viewing. Exciting. Casey Mize. 92 rookie throwback. I like the sheen on these, or lack thereof. Uh, this would be a really good card to get autographed. I do love to get hand-signed cards whenever I go to spring training, or uh, maybe go down to a Cardinal game, or Peoria Chiefs games. I go to a lot of those. Uh, it's like cards like that, like the Heritage and all that, I love to get those autographed, because one, they look cool, and two, uh, they, hold the, they hold the autograph really well. And it looks good on card. Like my favorite go-to, uh, as far as the uh, you know vintage style. And we got a Nick Madrigal rookie debut. Oh, there's the regular version of that gold card I got. And Joy Nuchesi. Um Continuing my thought, uh, I love to use Allen and Ginter. I think Allen and Ginter is one of the coolest sort of like nostalgic, nostalgically designed, if that's even a word, uh, packs out there. Uh, like, I have a number of cards uh, that are signed out of that that I've gotten down in spring training. Like, Stephen Piscotti, I think I got a Michael Waka, Wainwright, other Cardinals. Hey, all right, we got our first really good, I think, potential, potentially good, could Brian Hayes. That's a good card, I bet. I don't know. These are new, so don't know the prices yet. All right, we got Kalina Lee, because it might not be his genuine rookie card, so we may be missing out on that train. And Duvall, we got uh, Patrick Weagle. <laughs> Andrew Kisner, all right. Former Peoria Chief, love it. Calling it out every time. That's my home team. Marcus Simeon had a pretty good season for the Do uh, Dodgers. Blue Jays, they're blue, and my brain just went there. Dulles Garcia, there's a guy that... Uh, Sadly, I feel like the Cardinals may have given up on too soon. All right, we got 92 Mookie Betts. That's a cool card. He had a meh season. 
Definitely not good for him. All right, we got Dodgers rookie Edwin Usida, NL Beast. Let's see, was that Acuna and Jazz Chisholm? Okay, there's a good card. Two uh, young up and coming stars. We got a rookie combo of Trey <laughs> Alan Trejo, uh, Danny Trejo's son, maybe Jordan Sheffield, <laughs> and Tyler Mahal. Ma 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 I have no idea how that name is pronounced. Mahal. Mahal. Mahla? Mahla. Sounds like something out of Galaxy Quest. Mahla. Alright, here we go. Another pack. Andrew. Whatever his name was. Oh, man. It's upside down. Let me say Luis Patino. Jose Quintana. Former Chicago Cub and White Sox. Luke Jackson. Another pack up behind down issue. We got Castro. Oh my gosh. Drive me crazy. Victor Caratini. Chichi Gonzalez. Patrick Wisdom. Former Peoria Chief. <laughs> and breakout star this year for the Cubs. I mean, average wise, kind of doo doo, but power number. New rookie record. All right. Got the Phillies. Reese Hoskins. Another 92 Casey Mize rookie card. Interesting. And then we got. Jorge Mateo, Queens High, dual card, those aren't that special. David Dahl, and a Joe Adele debut card. And sideways, it is not. Now, it would be nice to find a short print, although, like I said, I don't know off the top of my head which ones I should be looking for. But what I'll probably end up do, doing is uh, going back at the end and just flipping the whole stack upside down and then just kind of looking at the number on each card seeing if uh, one pops up as a different number all right so let's just blast through these Jared Klenick, E.J. Peters, C.J. Cron, Marwin Gonzalez former Peoria Chief, <laughs> Ryan Weathers, Sergio Romo, Marco Feliciano, Jacob DeGrom 92 insert nice, Drew Pomeranz, Joachim Soria, Spencer Howard, I think he had a pretty good season, didn't he? I don't know. I don't pay attention to them. And Jorge Oma. Ona. O-N-A. Ona. Oh, nah. It's like... Anyways. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Let's see what else we can find here. All right. All right, Mountcastle. Aledmus Diaz, not a former chief, but a former cardinal. And uh, my number sake in St. Louis, and that's why I liked him and was sad to see him go. Sixto Sanchez, this is like his 30th rookie card. I swear the man's been in the league for six years, but has still not uh, amassed enough to qualify as a veteran or whatever. Oop. Raphael Devers, all-star game, and oh, there we go. We got another throwback 70th anniversary card, and hey, there's my boy, Yachty, looking trim. Wow, that's a flattering picture. He looks really thin in that one. I think he got a little bit of his heft back this year, which I'm okay with, because he always hit for more power when he was a little bit heftier, but man, he looks skinny in that. That is a good-looking card right there. I'm going to put that in my pile next to the trout. For me, that's a hit, baby. All right, we got Will Williams Austudio. I think that's a guy that uh, gave up the bomb to the catcher on the White Sox, and everyone lost their minds about him. I think I made a comment about that in the previous video. As I say, you know, the guy's trying to make a living out of playing baseball. You're going to get mad at him for doing his job. So, oh, they had a big lead and you shouldn't have hit a moonshot off a EFIS pitch from a catcher of all people. It's like, what do you want him to do? He's doing his job. Don't want him to do his job? Don't throw him a pitch. Okay, we got near perfect no no, John Means. That's like an event card. <laughs> Charlie Morton, Shoemaker, Tyler Wade. We go home. I don't know. Goliome. Go Goilarme. I have no idea how to pronounce that. 
Devil Garcia, that one's a little easier. His name, oh wait, no, his name is DV, D-E-I-V-I. -I. Hey, we got Karius Skramski. Any chance we can get his grandson in this pack too? Okay, Casey Mize. What are you trying to tell me, universe? That I need to invest in Casey Mize? <laughs> it's like my third or fourth? Maybe just third, but holy crap. Okay, hey, there's another Adolis Garcia. I wonder if... 9.5. I wonder... Hmm. Two different pictures. So there's a chance I may have a short printed one. Uh, and Chad Pinder. Okay, nothing special in that back. So no autos, no jersey so far. Uh, I said this is going to be a short and quick video, I'm pretty sure. Because I only have four packs left, and then that's going to be the end of it. And now we got Kyle Cody, Adam Engel, Jose Devers, or if he's related to the other Devers, and uh, Boston Ben Gamble, Ta Taylor Walls, rookie, Jameson Tayon, Ricky Bu, uh, Bobby, Bobby Dalek, Devick, Devick, ah, I can't talk sometimes, I swear, Andrew Stevenson. We got John Nagowski, former Cardinal. Got another Jacob DeGrom. Okay, that's a little frustrating that I've been getting the same guys. Uh, we got Seth Romero, rookie. Garrett Richards. Peter Solomon. And Jordan Romano. Man, those inserts would be nice to get a little more variety. I've got out of two boxes. Now, mind you, there's two boxes I've gotten. That Casey Mize multiple times and that's just crazy so if i were to ding this set on one thing that would be it but that might just be a total fluke that that's happened i mean i hope it's a fluke but who knows all right ryan hendricks michael taylor you know what this is faster if we do it this way fulton Avitz. upside down luis gonzalez rookie tyler zuber Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a cool card. Tops gold throwback. Oh, nice. Black gold throwback. Mookie Betts insert. That's cool. Yeah, that's... A... What the heck is going on? I bought these boxes one right after the other. They were next to each other on the shelf. And I'm getting so many repeats. This is crazy. Oh, all right. Another, another, another Yachty or Molina. So I have an extra one if anybody wants to buy it. <laughs> But yeah, that's a really cool insert of Mookie Betts. I like that a lot. Nice throwback. Put that in that pile. My gosh. Okay, I mean, there are worse things to get duplicates of. And then we see, we got Maynir Sierra, former chief. I'm just going to say that every time, so sorry if it gets annoying. And then we got a snow game, snow tigers. That's cute. Adorable. Boy, lots of repeats. You know, you like to see variety. You know, get a little bit of everything. If you're trying to make a set, I'm not. But if you were a person trying to make a set. Okay, let's see. Nate Pearson, rookie card. Oh, God. And that's annoying, too. Cards are in there, upside down there. Which we call them long, former, not chief. Former Cardinal. Although I did get to watch him and uh, a few other former Cardinals play in the Midwest League Championship where they actually swept the entire playoffs. It was really amazing and super impressive. Chris Owings, Ali Sanchez, who made his debut with the Cardinals this year. Prior to this year, I'd never heard of him. Shows you how much I've been paying attention. Ooh, all right, all right. It's a duplicate card, but it's a different version. The Chrome Refractor version. Is it numbered? It is not numbered, but that, my friends, is a beautiful card. Put that in the good pile. Heck yeah. All right, Joey Bart, 92 rookie. And then our sideways cards, Adamus, Kirloff, Billy Hamilton, and Brock Holt. whoop de doo whoop de doo All right, last pack, and then we'll open the ones that got the special inserts in them and hopefully we get lucky and uh, maybe pull another good player let's look at the list of guys we could get from that all right so we could get 
Yogi Berra, Satchel Page, Wade Boggs, Joseph Verlander, Ward Spawn, Robin Yacht. So we got a lot of old timers and some young up and comers. So a decent mix. I don't think I saw any Cardinals. Uh, Mark McGuire, but I don't know if that's uh, Oakland or St. Louis. And I don't see any Cubs or White Sox for my other local teams. New. No. All right, so we don't know what we're going to get. But we might not get anything we want. Cesar Hernandez, Trevor Lenar, Kyle Farmer, JB Bukowskis. Lots of new guys that I gotta learn their names. Kurt Casale, Wilson Ramos, John Lester, now a cart. Well, I guess he's still technically a Cardinal. Carlos Rondon for his no no event card. Andrew Vaughn, throwback White Sox. Bryce Harper, 92. Throwback. Taiwan Walker. We got Chris Gittins, Matt Moore, and Chad Cool. That's cool. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got in these medallion cards. Man, that is thick. <laughs> With like three C's. Oh, okay. So I got more than just that in this pack. Sweet. Not to spoil anything. All right, so we got Ben Rortved. Rort, Rortved? You tell me. Rortved. Whatever. <laughs> Jose De Leon. I don't remember there being a De Leon. Okay, no. Not who I thought. Luke Rayleigh. We got Trevor Williams. A no no bath. Let's look at that one real quick. Nope, that's just a regular set. Trevor May, we got ourselves a little, there we go, oh cool, okay, so Jonathan India, rookie review, or uh, debut I mean, rookie debut, uh, hollow foil, that's pretty cool, that might be a decent card, considering he just won rookie of the year, hey, okay, alright, hey, sell them together in one pack, there you go. Ozzy Albies, and congratulations, you got a Justin Verlander coin commemorative card. Fancy. That's real fancy. Alright, Mookie Betts 92, and nobody. Aaron Hicks, and nobody. Okay. Alright, let's see what the last one is, and then we'll give, I'll give my final assessment of this set. We got a little dual card. Uh, Marcus Simeon, Simeon and Bo Bichette. Sean Doolittle. Huascar Yanoa. Hey, there's Alex Reyes. Sorry if I made that noise a little too loud with my heat. <laughs> uh, Bryce Wilson. Got another. Oh, there we go. We got a little 92 chrome refractor action of Manny Machado. Uh, nothing special. Put that over here. And our commemorative card is Wade Boggs from Boston Red Sox fame. All right. Hollow Famer. And then we got another 92 throwback of Mookie Betts. Uh, rookie combo. U.S. Hernandez and Antonio Santos. Okay. So, now... Overall, I, I've thought, uh, because well, I mean, obviously this is the same set. The design standpoint of the cards, very geometric as far as like the accents here and here uh, on sideways. And, and, you know, it's the same, same way on both cards. Uh, I think it's aesthetically pleasing. This is me, Mr. Art Degree over here. Uh, Mr. Bachelor's Degree in Art, you know. Uh, you know, in photography and video and uh, general art, whoopie doo. <laughs> I'm really using my uh, degree, but uh, anyway, uh, as far as a design standpoint, it's simple. Uh, uh, I like the geometric, you know, designs to it, good lines that kind of draw the eye. Uh, overall, just uh, kind of a basic style, you know, uh, the rounded edges here. Definitely kind of give you a smooth movement. It's like this is stuff like you see subconsciously. You don't really, you know, uh, pick up on them. 
But I, li I definitely like it with the, uh, like this card. Like, I like the composition of this card. So all in all, the 70th anniversary uh, style, not bad. Not the, not the best set I've ever seen, uh, but not bad. Now, as far as the product itself, uh, as you saw, I was a little disappointed in the number of duplicates. I don't know how, if I just got incredibly unlucky in that, um, or what, but uh, as far as like the, the inserts go, I, I love the 92 style. Uh, like I said, again, it's simple, but you know, it really pops, it like puts the emphasis on the photo of the player. And then like how it has this inner ring here kind of brings you down to like the name plates and just takes you all over the card. You know, this is simple stuff that you would learn in an art class. So I'm not like expounding on stuff here that's like mind altering. Uh, I like, I like the little inserts. These are nice. Uh, they call it a patch card, but this is clearly not fabric, but it's a solid, solid little insert, you know, that you get in there. Definitely like uh, the use of some of the older ones, like the, the Tops Gold. That's a really cool card. Uh, and then, of course, the that one. That is probably my favorite card in the set, just because, you know, I'm a huge Mike Trout fan. So all in all, uh, if I were to grade uh, the design aspect, I'd give it like a solid B to B+. Plus. Uh, you know, just a basic design, nothing, nothing too... Uh, Risky. They didn't take any real major risk in the design. Uh, and as far as like uh, buying it, I don't know. Uh, like I said a lot of these cards that you're seeing in here, I feel like I've seen in like series two and everything. So uh, they're not exactly updates. Like you saw the John Lester, he's still in a, a Nationals jersey. You know they didn't update it to St. Louis. So I don't know when they printed the cards, but they didn't have the uh, the updated photos, so I'm a little just dis a little disappointed there too. So all in all, I don't know. Uh, update series, I give it a meh as far as collectability. Uh, like I said I like some of the inserts, but beyond that, uh, nothing too special. Like I said, maybe down the road, who knows? Maybe the Cabrian Hayes will be like, I mean, probably not going to be trout level, you know, in the hundred dollar range <laughs> or more i forget i think it's like up to four hundred dollars now or something like that for for the uh my trout rookie card but all in all if you like tops it's a safe set to buy uh just hopefully you have better luck than me on inserts you don't get like a million duplicates i mean don't get me wrong i like having two yadier millions but three casey mice 92 throwback inserts what anyway so that'll do it for uh this review of tops baseball update series 2021, uh, I say uh, buy at your own risk if you find it. They go fast. So anyway, moving on. Uh, next time we'll be uh, doing a newer set. Well, newer, but uh, we'll be doing Chronicles Baseball. Looking forward to that one. I got two mega boxes, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and if you see this outfit again, it's totally a uh, coincidence. Not that I just filmed them consecutively and then did them different days. So anyway, thank you so much for sticking with me this long. If you've made it all the way to the end, hey, while you're here, go ahead and hit subscribe for updates and uh, screensavers. Wait for my face. Ha! I'm back. <laughs> uh, but yeah, go ahead, hit that subscribe button for updates on uh, and ring the bell and blah, 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 all that other stuff uh, so that you can get up to date uh, when I post new videos, uh, new pack openings, and I'm getting closer and closer to uh, creating new content, let's plays, and gameplay. Uh, I got a new Elgato uh, capture card, and I'm this, I'm this much closer. I just need to, still need to get that new uh, uh, gaming PC, and uh, we're getting there. Electronic idiots, baby. I'm pushing forward. It's a new it's a new life. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me and I hope I see you in the next video. See you later.